Oi, oi, guys. I hope everybody had a great weekend. I did have a good weekend. I really enjoyed myself. I was, well, it was my birthday on the Thursday, but we kind of pushed it into going into the weekend as well. So we, I, had a good, I had a good weekend. Went to a really nice art, art shop that I hadn't seen before. And I was in bloody paradise walking into that shop. <laughs> I was like a kid in, I was like a kid in a sweet shop. I was like, oh, there's goodies in here. Anyway, um, I had a good weekend. I hope you all had a good weekend too. And I just wanted to pull in a, a subject about not tuning in to what believe what people believe you are with the judgments and things like that and and especially when you get people saying that you're a certain somebody or you're acting like like a certain sub somebody in a certain way or fashion that you you know you 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 work or you speak to people or whatever and normally people go ah oh, you're just like whoever right usually a parent. <laughs> um, but notice one thing. If you're watching this right now and you're tuning into this and you're wanting to hear what is being said around this subject, then you're tuning in for some kind of reason. So think about this. You got to where you are now, to where you're sitting there watching this message. How did you get there? If you've had a real traumatic background growing up, been a lot of negatives around and you grew up in that environment. Yes, there is programs that happen from that. There is trauma. There is the mind shifting that goes on around, you know, trauma. Uh, certain body chemistries happen and then you're going to have those triggers that can trigger to you, to you to those events which pull in a whole myriad of thoughts and emotions, etc., etc. It goes on and on until down you go, you start going downwards. So that's a trigger. Somebody coming in and saying, you are just like whoever that may be. If there is triggers there around that, could be an ego that comes into play, could be on any number of things. Your story is your story and only you will know. But when those triggers come in, when that trigger hits and it goes somewhere, and now you're questioning yourself saying that you, you do act just like them, do you? Tune into that. Look at it. Open it up. Are you really that person? Because to get to where you are now, you've had to push through quite a bit, I would imagine. And you've got to where you are now through your own merit. Or if you've had help getting there, it doesn't matter. You are not who people tell you you are. It doesn't matter how much you, re you resemble them. You are you. You are completely you. Do you take on certain characteristics? Absolutely. There ain't no avoiding that. Even DNA, right? But you're still just you. You don't have the same DNA. You don't have the same fingerprints. You don't have the same... There's things that are different about you that make you you. So know where you've come from. And tune in and breathe when something kind of trips you out as far as, oh, that hurt. Oh, oh, I didn't like that. Or mm, it might even resonate with you. It may be something that you are working to move away from. And somebody says you're acting a certain way. And that may resonate with something. Be aware of it. Breathe. Tune into what's going on with you. Think about the thought that's happened. Think about the emotion that's going on and think if there's any kind of reality to it because and then you can stop a reaction. It goes thought, emotion, and then your reaction to it. Sometimes you don't even know what you've been thinking. That takes tuning in. It takes looking at those things, looking back, but he can't get there without that pause and that breath. It's going to take that pause and that breath to bring it in an awareness so that you can look at it. Otherwise, we react. Once you get into a reaction, you're reacting to something. It may not necessarily be what's happened right in front of you. That's the trigger to where you've gone. So try and breathe. Work on that breath. And I'm not talking about just standing there for five minutes. This happens real quick, but it takes practice and bringing an awareness to it. 
to be able to start to tune in. When the mind goes there, it starts becoming an automatic thing. But it takes that practice and it takes that awareness and it takes that mm, breathe, look at it. What's the fault? What's the emotion? And is there any truth? Does it match you with the present moment? Is it something that's happening that's way, way out or something that's way, way in the past? It's not now. It's not right now. Tune into that. It takes that practice. But the more you do it, the better you get and the quicker it gets and the calmer you'll start to feel. Breathe, 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 breathe. Always go to the breath. Tell the mind, there's no problem here. That comes with slowing that breath down. Slow that breath down and start taking the control of whether there's even reality there. I hope everybody has a great week. I hope everybody stays in that PMA and the PPA, the Positive Progressive Actions, taking those steps to keep moving you forward. You may be on a hill right now, pushing a ball uphill. If you're pushing that ball uphill, don't stop pushing. Push a little harder. If you have to take a little rest and a little breather, that being sometimes you've got to have some soft time. Take it. Don't ignore it. Don't keep on trying to push when the, when the mind's saying, okay, let's just pause a minute. But hold the ball there. Don't step aside and let it roll back downhill. Keep that ball there. Keep it propped. And then you'll start moving again. Keep the ball pushing. Keep going. I love in each and every one of you. Please, if you've like watched it this far and you get things out of my content, please, please, please go and hit that subscribe button. I've gone past the 200 now and I'm absolutely stoked about it. It's such a good feeling to be able to, to, be able to have you guys push me out there to reach more people and get this word out helping other people because it's only got to land in the right person at the right time and you could be saving a life. So please, hit that subscribe button, hit that like, get this around your friends and your family and pass it around. It does nothing but good for me and it really gets out there and helps other people. Don't let it stop. Don't stop the message at the few. Let the message reach the many. Stay the course, guys. Namaste.